Do you want to be naked and famous? I do. But unfortunately, the closest I'm going to get to it is a naked and famous cocktail. All right, guys, so I am back with my clothes on. Today, I'm going to make a drink called Naked and Famous, which I wish I was right now. It's bloody 36 degrees Celsius here in Geelong. It's the middle of summer and I'm boiling. So the first ingredient this calls for is 22 and a half mils or three quarters of an ounce of a mezcal. I'm using the Vida by Del Maguey. Next up, 22 and a half mils, which again, three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. Never tried this, but just by the specs, I can tell I'm going to love it. Next up, 22 and a half mils, once again, of yellow chartreuse. And last but not least, 22 and a half mils of fresh lime juice, three quarters of an ounce. Now looking at those specs, I would say this is a twist on a last word. Add some ice to the shaker, give it a really good shake. Okay, so I am going to double strain that into a chilled down coupette. You can use a Nicanora martini glass. And the garnish for this one is a, just a lime wedge. I think the wash line on this in this glassware is a little bit too low. So I'm going to transfer it into a Nick and Nora glass and try not to spill it everywhere. There we go. All right, that's a hell of a lot better. Your wash line is really important on a cocktail. I don't want it to be filled up all the way to the top, which I do sometimes, uh, but that's because I'm drinking it myself. You want enough room so that if you're taking it out to your friends or to your customers when you're carrying it on a tray, it's not gonna spill everywhere. All right, naked and famous. All right, that's beautiful. That is so good. This was created by Joaquin Simo at Death & Co in New York City. I'm not sure what year, but... Um, that is so good. It's earthy, it's sweet, it's smoky. Not in a bad way, not too smoky. It's balanced really well with the lime juice. Great using the Aperol. It kind of gives that nice rhubarb flavor as well. Um, first time I've tried it and I'm so impressed by that cocktail. Great job, Quackin. Guys, if you want to uh, pick something else for me to make a video of, please comment below or like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.